Hey, this is Vivian again with The Silent Christian No More. And today I want to talk about the plan in action. And yes, I am still in Nehemiah because I done got stuck in that chapter, which I often do when I'm studying. But hey, God's word is just awesome. So in Nehemiah, the second chapter, you know, he had heard about what was going on with the um, Babylonian uh, captives, which were God's children. And the first thing he did was he went to Judah. And that's found in verse uh, Nehemiah, the second chapter and the fifth chapter. He said, send me to Judah that I may rebuild the city of my fathers. So he goes to Judah. He surveys the land. He takes a few people with him to see what needs to be done and what work has to be done. And that's a, a part of planning the work and working the plan. You know, you got to go see what needs to be done. If you plan on fulfilling your purpose in life, find out what it takes to fulfill that purpose. And then make a plan. The second thing he did was he got some participants, some people to come and help him. And that's found in chapter 3. He said It says the priests, the rulers, the Levites, and the merchants all pitched in to help him out. So he encouraged people to come and help him to rebuild this city. And when you're doing something for God, you got you got that's got to be a part of your plan. You know, why are you doing this? You have to convince other people that this is a good thing to do. And the only way you can do that is do your homework like he did. You know, everybody knew what the word was about God and the Jews and how he felt about them. And why um, Nehemiah wanted to go back to Judah to build this, build this city again. So writing out that plan, you know, what am I going to do? Why am I doing this? Who is God leading me to be a part of my team? And the... Next thing he did in the fourth chapter, in the sixth verse, it says, So built we the wall, for the people had a mind to work. When you get your crew together, you need to make sure that they want to work and they're not just trying to hang on because they think they may get some prestige because of this elaborate um, purpose that you have shared with them and they just want to go along for the ride. You got to get some people together who really want to work. It says these people had a mind to work. They were passionate about doing what Nehemiah was seeking to do, and that was to rebuild that city. Um, those people fought. The people that he brought with him, they were willing to fight. And in Nehemiah, the fourth chapter, the 14th through the 21st verse, it says they were fighting for their families and their homes and put on your sword. So they were building this wall and they had their weapons in one hand and a hammer in the next. Okay. Um, these people had to be willing to defend what it is that your, your purpose, the purpose you're trying to fulfill. So let me go back over there. You got to have a plan. You know, go find out what needs to be done to fulfill your purpose. And then you need to go survey the land. Find out what it's going to take, you know, to get this thing up and going. Then you need to convince some people or encourage some people to come along with you. And these people have to have a mind to work and they got to be willing to fight. And then the last thing, you got to be willing to put that plan and stuff into action because in the end, as the saying goes, we win. And in Nehemiah, the sixth chapter, the 15th verse, it says the work was finished in 52 days. Yeah, they had a manual task. Yes, they were building a city. Yes, they had to fight in the process, but nobody quit. Everybody kept going. And those are the type of people that you want to have working with you when you're trying to build something for the kingdom of God. Get those people. Go into prayer. Go into fasting. We already talked about the power that is in prayer and in fasting. 
put all of these little things together and go do what God has called you to do. Being a solid Christian, just sitting out on the sidelines, in your mind, I don't know why they did this. I don't know why. No, mm -mm. no. you got to be like, okay, what can I do to make this situation better? What can I do to make my church better or my neighborhood better or my city better? You know, my state, my nation. What can I do? Because it only takes one person to stand up. We have great people, that, fathers that have come before us and mothers that have come before us that, that did a great work. And I'm sure that they were compelled to go out and do those, those things that they did. No, I'm sure Martin Luther King was compelled to fight for our civil rights, you know, and many of the other people who have gone before us. So... I just want to encourage you, don't be afraid because God hasn't given us the, uh, the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. We got all the power. We got to show that love through our concern for what is going on. And we got to have a sound mind by putting that thoughts and our feelings and our concerns into an action plan to get it done. Hey, this is Vivian again. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And subscribe, y'all. I'm trying to build up my YouTube channel. You all have an awesome and wonderful day. And I'll be back with you on tomorrow. Bye-bye.